Pete Doherty was back on stage at London's Kentish Town on Friday night after he and his bandmates were forced to halt their tour last week due to having to self-isolate due to Covid. As he performed with his bandmates Carl Barat, 43, John Hassel, 40, and Gary Powell, 52. The rocker, who has recently showed off his dramatic weight loss on stage, donned a casual open denim shirt over a navy blue top and peaked cap. And was seen getting close to Carl while they sung into the same microphone. The band announced they would have to self-isolate due to coronavirus last Friday. They wrote, the Libertines have with a heavy heart decided to cancel their next week of dates, except for the December 17th to 18th-19 London Forum shows, which will still go ahead. The ongoing challenges presented by Covid and quarantine restrictions are proving extremely frustrating. December 17th to 18th minus 19 can happen because everyone in band and crew will have completed their legal post-exposure quarantine. Pete, who also performs with his other group Puta Madres showed off his slimmer figure at a gig at Manchester Academy last month. On stage he looked a lot slimmer than when he did when he was pictured in Normandy, France earlier this year. Earlier this month, Pete secretly wed Katya Davidas, his bandmate from his other group the Puta Madres. The pair tied the knot in a private ceremony at a lavish French retreat in September, only two days after they revealed they were engaged. They got hitched at the De Mont Saint Clair Hotel in the French city of Aderata where they've lived for the past three years, and Puta Madres provided music. The film editor, who Pete has been dating for nine years, confirmed their engagement when she was seen wearing a sparkling ring in an Instagram post. Pete recently blamed his weight gain on cheese and bread as a result of his newfound chilled lifestyle. The frontman who was previously known for his drink and drug fueled benders, told The Sun, I like crumte, crumte on toast. My guilty pleasure is sleeping. For years and years, I would stay up for 5 or 6 days and then I would sleep for 24 hours, so now I love sleep. Pete added to the publication, at the moment I'm quite clean. I stopped taking heroin and ketamine, 